All right, not sure if I'll be able to help somebody out. We're gonna make this video, not sure if I'm gonna be successful in completing this task. So we're looking at a 10 inch aluminum wheel. And the problem I have is blew out the bearing on said existing wheel. So I am stuck with the outer bearing cage or outer sleeve that is still pressed into, this is a TKI wheel. And this is the bearing and the hub. I'm gonna replace this one. I thought these little holes in here would be enough to catch the lip of the bearing and tap it out. FYI, that is not the case. So the issue I am having is no lip, nothing I can grab on this side to tap the cage out. So step one was using this little tiny punch. You can see I was bending the tip coming through these little holes and I kind of can catch the lip a little bit, but this small punch is not strong enough to put enough force to that bearing cage to start to work it out. I've been pounding on it for quite a while. You know, I didn't go any heavier with the hammer because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to bust the tip. I've been bending it back and forth. So that was step one. So step two, I've been trying. I did put a little bit of heat to it with a map torch, but again, I'm not able to get enough force on the lip from this side to drive it out. Step two of the process, bigger hammer, cold chisel, and the problem I've got is I'm breaking off the corners of the cold chisel, so I've rounded them out. But anyway, like I said, once I opened up these little holes, kind of show you what I'm failing at here, whether I'm catching enough lip, not really. Some of these I feel I can catch something. Not there, not there. So, like, I'm giving this a shot just so you see where I'm not making her. Can't catch a lip there. I went to a heavier hammer and the cold chisel, and that was a fail. So, I'm still stuck with. Now, I'm supposed to be riding. I needed to get this fixed in three days. I'm heading on the road for HCO Sled Fest. And at this moment, so I don't have time to order a wheel and for it to get here and get it installed. So even though I'm tearing up this wheel trying to get it out, it's still usable if I can get that outer cage out. So far, no luck. All right, guys, we are back at it. So I called TKI CNC, who made the wheel, just looking for some ideas. And step two for you guys to try, I put it in the oven at 170 degrees and then raised it to 200 for 15 minutes and then a half hour. He said that would usually work and that the bearing would just drop out almost. That did not work for me. So with that, I moved on to step three and I came up with this uh, idea. Again, I tried using the small holes, but the small center punch wasn't enough. So as you can see, what I ended up doing is drilling out my own holes, one there, one there, that went a little bit further into the hub so that I could get a center punch onto what's left of the bearing. So what I am using now is a 1364 drill bit and the punch I am using is a 3 16 by 3 8 center punch and I already kind of got started and then I stopped so I could use the camera. So using the existing holes, which I piloted of course first, 1364 drill bit gives me just enough room to get that center punch. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And as soon as I whacked it a few times, she was coming out. As long as I don't stick my center, get my center punch stuck in there. And as you can see, she's coming. So we're going to finish this thing up. So make sure that this is going to work all the way through to finish. Now at this point, if the holes are getting a little tight, I can open them up the next size drill bit. And there it went. So we're going to look at the back side. And you can see the holes I drilled are right up against the inside of the hub. There's a little bit of meat on the smaller holes that come from the TKI made wheel. And I'm not sure how other designs fall into this category. So I kind of just eyeballed it when I drilled it. But there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I chewed up the outside hub pretty good, but uh, the sled needs to be back on the snow, so I didn't have time to order a new wheel, which maybe I will, maybe I won't. So there you go, guys. Like I said, this is what's left of the bearing. 13 64th holes. Uh, line them up with the pilot first. Get yourself started with the pilot. A 3 16 by 3 8 punch will knock that sucker out. Hopefully this helps, guys. I'm going to get this thing back together and head for HCO Sled Fest in California. All right, one last little trick to finish this off. Don't throw this away because it comes in handy for seating your bearing down inside the hub. Now, once you get like a flush, but it's got to go down in to get your uh, C clip. So now you have a seat. She needs a little more love. So to do that, I got out the bigger hammer. A little more weight to it. And that should do her.